Hi there, John Ferryman from Balanced Physical Therapy coming at you. Recently, I was asked to write an article for a local magazine about the importance of exercise and keeping moving during COVID times. And when I was first approached, my immediate thought was, are they kidding me? What do they mean during COVID times? Hasn't exercise and movement always been important for all of us for all time? But of course, because we're all living under this, this microscope of pressure and stress and fear, largely fear, related to everything swirling around us right now, I agreed to write the article. But what I wanna do here today is sort of pare it down into the bullet points of importance that I just sort of grabbed off the top of my head because as a physical therapist, we deal with people all the time who are recovering from injuries, but exercise isn't any less important for those of us who don't have injuries or aren't during uh, aren't undergoing rehabilitation processes it's important for everyone for all time first foremost exercise can help control our body weight right and as we all know body weight is a huge determinant of our blood pressure or at least it can be and some of the horror stories that we've all been hearing related to COVID-19 is how the, the comorbidities of obesity and diabetes and hypertension or high blood pressure put this enormous magnifier on the ramifications of COVID-19. So why not control our body weight? It just makes good sense. Exercise helps fight many, many, many other diseases and health conditions. I mean, I don't have enough time in this video, nor did I have enough room for that publication that asked me to write the article to outline all of the benefits of exercise. It would be exhaustive volumes of work. Um, right out of the gate, HDL cholesterol, or the, the good cholesterol. It helps to elevate HDL cholesterol. Exercise helps to decrease our triglyceride levels, okay? Our blood fats, etc. So together, these things can help improve our cardiovascular fitness. Our, our risk for cardiovascular diseases is decreased, etc. Exercise can help boost your mood. And let's face it, right now, who couldn't use a mood booster, for God's sake? I could, we all could, right? So things like dopamine, things like norepinephrine, and, and particularly things like serotonin, the neurochemicals in here that are secreted that help affect and, and sort of set our mood, they're all positively affected by exercise. So again, especially right now with all the stress that we're all under, who wouldn't want more of that? And contrary to what many people think, exercise actually gives you energy. And some people might be thinking, but how? I'm tired after I exercise. Well, yeah, you're supposed to be. But think about it. Exercise improves the efficiency of all of our body systems, and it helps to improve the delivery of oxygen and other nutrients to your tissues. So exercise, by default, actually helps improve your energy creation capacity. You have more energy to deal with all this stuff that we're living through right now. These are unprecedented times. And I think that now more than ever, we should be focused on our health, our fitness, our wellness, our mindset, our mood, our thoughts, anything and everything that we have immediate control over, we should be getting all over it hard so that we can have a better experience through all of these times that we're going through right now. Sleep. It's, um, it's probably the weakest area of my personal fitness. I probably don't get enough sleep, but my message to everyone today, sleep is restorative and it's absolutely essential for optimal brain and bodily function. And exercise helps regulate all of the hormones in our body that help to establish normal sleep-wake patterns. I, for one, would love a fantastic restful night's sleep on a regular basis. Doesn't that sound amazing? It sounds amazing to me. So let's get out and get some exercise. And you know what? We'll have better rest too. Now, a lot of people go, oh, exercise is such a chore. Oh my God, I just don't have it in me. It doesn't have to be that way. It can be fun. It can be social. It can be anything for God's sake. Like don't think about exercise as this great big thing that you have to go do that's formal. Just move your body for God's sake. Move, sweat, get out of breath. Huff and puff a little bit. Stretch your muscles to the point of mild discomfort and hold for a little while. And believe it or not, you will actually become more resilient in every part of your life. Mentally, physically, emotionally, wherever you need help, exercise is actually, in my view, as a physical therapist and as a man who exercises regularly, it is the only fountain of youth that exists anywhere. 
you know, the, the weight loss industry, the vitamin supplement industry, you know, the, the, the nutrition industries out there, multiple billion dollar a year industries because people are what? They're looking for something to help them. Help yourself. Get out and move. Just move and you'll be fine. You'll be far better off riding your bike than you ever could be riding the couch. Thank you.